What's up guys? My name's Kurt. And I'm Mal. And this is our 2003 Ford E450 box truck. We call it the, the Boon box. box. All right guys, come on in and check it out. Well, this is it. 120 square feet of pure living, baby. And uh, so let's start over here. Door, little window to the outside world. We also got a hang board, do some finger strengths, pull ups. Uh, other than that, we got some hooks for hats, jackets, anything kind of need to put up here. We got some of the dog's toys, keys go here, pretty accessible. Behind this door, door number one, is all of our ski gear, plus some other accessories. We got skateboards, rollerblades, stash some gloves up here. All the toys. This is kind of our kitchen area. We went with our existing camp stove, save some money. Uh, two burner Everest stove works great. We hooked it straight up to a gas grill. Spice rack, we got a fruit basket up top. We store all our food. And over here we got coffee, all that stuff as well. Down below, we got all the knives, utensils, everything you might need. For food storage, we have a chest fridge down here. On a nice little slide out. So all of our drawers have these little kitty proof things to keep the uh, drawers tucked in when we're rolling. But this keeps all our food nice and cold. We can put some freezer stuff in there if need be. It's been working good so far on the road. This little closet here, we got a pull out trash can, kind of some cleaning supplies down in there. So moving on, we got our grinder for the coffee in the morning. Super important, we use a Chemex, works great. And we just heat the, uh, water up on the stove with a little kettle here. Our sink system is pretty simple. We have a water tank that feeds it hot water or cold water and drains down below here. This goes down to two separate systems. We can either dump it right outside if we're just washing our hands, washing our face. Um, if we're cleaning the dishes, any type of food waste, we usually just put it right into here. We can easily dump that elsewhere. So that holds six gallons. And then pots, pans, other random things on our pegboard there. Some simple storage right up here. Kind of got the clothes. And a little shelf here when we're sleeping. We'll kind of put the phones and whatnot. Great big closet for all our gear. Big puffy jackets. Down below, we have our um, laundry basket. We just pull that out, do some laundry, some more storage. This right here is our catalytic heater. Also runs off propane. This thing works great, it's the Wave 6. We uh, have been down in the teens so far. Works great, keeps nice and warm in here. That's kind of our sole heating element. Sometimes we'll also run the stove, it does get really cold. Our step up to the bed is also a, a shoe storage. Kind of convenient. So coming up to the loft, as I call it, nice cozy bed area. We have a fan here, TV if we want to watch some movies. The bed actually is an existing bed. This is my bed, it's a huge 12 inch bed. And it's also the same frame that I had. So we're really all about recycling, using a lot of the stuff that we already had existing and transforming it. The cool thing about this bed is it also lifts up. So this little system is on hydraulic shocks here. And we kind of uh, put the two by fours there to support it. This whole thing, it's custom built, so a lot of storage. We got storage up here. We also have the water water tank that feeds in from the outside. Down below here is kind of our control panel. So water, water pump, our propane solenoid. We have our inverter remote, the hot water heater controller, and a battery monitor. So down below, you'll see kind of the inner workings of our water system. We have a 40 gallon freshwater tank here and that feeds both our sink and our shower. Propane runs from the bottom up to the hot water heater and it's a tankless hot water heater. Works great, fires up every time. So we've had no issues with it thus far. And back here behind me is our battery box. So this is our control panel distribution. 
we can run uh, plugged in on shore power off our breaker system, also our DC distribution panel all hooked up in one tidy little location. We run a 200 amp hour battery, which has been plenty sufficient enough this far. We also have a 1500 watt inverter, and that's all kind of wired up in here. Well, while we're down here, let's mention the hardwood floor. This is the only thing that came with the box as far as flooring goes. It's pretty sweet. It works well. You saw in the loft earlier. Put that down. We also did tongue and groove throughout the ceiling. Pretty cool little look. Did some nice trim around it. Really classes up the place. The other thing that came with the box was the air conditioner. Air conditioner and two fans. So those really help with the uh, cooling and kind of circulating air. All of our lights are on these little dimmer switches, which are pretty cool, especially this one. You can control the lights in the bed just from reaching over. Pretty convenient. Over here we have toiletries, our little bathroom section getting ready, his and hers. So kind of all our little things we need. One big thing we wanted on this box was a hot running shower. A lot of smaller vans, you guys don't have that, unfortunately. But we, ladies and gentlemen, have a two by three shower. So this was kind of the biggest project of the van, I would say, almost, getting hot water over here. We built the walls originally, started with the shower pan down below, built around it, some waterproof walls, and thus far runs pretty dang well. So down here is our Porta Potty 365. It can go about, eh, I don't know, a little over a week, depends on how much you go, but we try to divert the urine when possible. The old Cran Pineapple urine goes in there goes a little longer way and so that's the shower and again with 40 gallons of fresh water you do have to be sparing with showers you can't have a 10 minute shower but out boondocking you go multiple days and just take quick short showers and you still have enough water to sink and rinse off with hooks here for all of our towels super convenient you can never have enough hooks in the box right here we have our dining room table very classy just kind of bust that out when we need to eat, put it away when we don't. We also use it for computers, working and whatnot. Bookshelf here, we're big on the cubes, kind of all the clothes storage, little bookshelf. And then down here, our fuzzy little ottoman keeps more storage. Every little space, you got to have things put away. Down here, we have some drawers. We keep our snacks and uh, more toiletry items. And then some tools, of course, over there. The big thing about the bench is it is six feet long, so you can even have some company over for a sleepover. More storage over here, kind of some random little uh, cubbies, and then shoe storage down below. We also have a nice convenient outlet here. When we're plugged in, we can easily charge our phones, laptops, anything like that. Well, there you guys have it. That's our condensed version of our Ford box truck build out. We bought this thing for 12 grand, gutted it, and then spent about six grand finishing it out. So everything you see here, custom built, it's a pretty cool project. So comment below, and again, we're just starting this channel out, so comment below of what your guys' favorite part about this build is. We're gonna take more videos as we go. We're traveling the country with this thing, so we're gonna be in a town near you. Give us a shout out, give us a like, you know the drill. We'll see you soon.